Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday morning to you, wherever you happen to be. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And welcome our NBC family, all visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio or video. Amen. Amen. And we just ask you to be ready to receive what God has for you. Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, Christmas season is coming, and all we think about is giving. Huh. <laughs> all we think about is receiving, receiving right. something. Well, he wants to bless you, and he wants you to receive what he has for you. Yeah. So just receive what he has for you, amen? Yes. And, of course, this is the month of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've been talking about Thanksgiving, and every day should be yes. a day of, of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Not just uh, every November, right. whatever, Thanksgiving Day, Turkey Day. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We've taken all these holidays uh -huh. and we enjoy them because uh, we get to party. We get uh, 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 raises, bonuses. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, it's for it is for entertainment. <laughs> Instead of, you know, uh, just... Uh, receiving it for what is what it is. Thanksgiving. Yes. Give thanks unto the Lord. Yes. It is a good thing yes, to give thanks unto the Lord every day. Uh -huh. And why is Christmas? You know, we think about Santa Claus and birthday pre I mean, uh, Christmas presents <laughs> and Christmas trees and all these things. That's all we think about. We don't think about Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, he is. Amen. Thank Let's you remember Lord. this. You know, we can have a Christmas every day. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Hey, man, that's the first words coming out, coming out of my mouth mm -hmm. every time we wake up, you know. Amen. Thank you. Thank Hallelujah. You. Amen. So we're going to continue with Thanksgiving. I guess Amen. you can say Thanksgiving number three. <laughs> but uh, before we do that, let's make this declaration together. Amen. Grab your sword, soldier God. Lord. Are we, uh, or warrior. Remember, you're a warrior, not a warrior. That's it. <laughs> we got some warrior champions, you know. <laughs> we want to be war warriors for God. Amen. Amen. Thank so, you. hallelujah, praise God, grab your sword, lift it up, yeah. and, and let's read it together. It says, yeah. this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Let's remember, we fight a spiritual battle daily. Amen. And the only way that you're going to overcome this spiritual battle is with the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the mind is the battlefield. And you think all kinds of things. I mean, you can all kinds of things. But you have to remember, you have to renew your mind yeah. with the word of God. Right. Otherwise, you're going to fall. Yeah. Because if you never renew your mind, you're just going to be thinking like the world. Yes. Amen. But we have to be like him and be imitators of Christ. Amen. Because the Bible tells us to. Amen. That's it. So give thanks. Be joyful. Be happy. Rejoice. And be glad. Be excited. <laughs> and I know what you want to say. You're thinking, you say, well, you don't know what kind of problems I have. You don't know what I'm going through. No, but he does. Amen. He does. And you have relationship. Now you can talk to him. And he wants to bless you. He wants to heal you. He wants to do all these things for you. Amen. Uh -huh. But you have relationship with him. That's what Christianity is all about. Having yes. a relationship with our Savior. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you. Every morning when you wake up. Yes. <laughs> just say thank you for waking me up. That's the first miracle. Is you got to wake up calm. And you open your eyes. Thank you Lord. Amen. We take too many things for granted. You know. You say well you know mañana mañana. Yeah tomorrow never comes. And tomorrow has enough problems of itself. Today has enough problems. Tomorrow has more problems. So let's be thankful. Amen. Give thanks. Because he woke you up. So we're going to review a few little things. And then we're going to get right into it. Amen. So I'm going to enjoy this day. Why? Because this is the day the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. You need to remember this every day. Amen. I mean, this is not just another day uh, to go work. Man, I'm beat up, you know. I'm tired of this. No, no. No, this is the day the Lord has given you. Yes. Lord, what is it you want me to do? Thank you for giving me this day. Amen. I give Amen. thanks for giving me this day. Amen. And we're to go. And uh says rejoice and be glad in it. He's telling us what to do. 
but we're always putting it down. You know, I've got so many things to do. I'm overloaded. Mm -hmm. Why are you overloaded with things mm -hmm. when he says to cast and give all things to him? You need to give it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, just going over a few all things. Right. <laughs> Amen. Now, go open your Bibles and uh, open it to Psalms 100. That's going to be our text. Amen. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you've never read it before, now's a good time. Yes. <laughs> if you don't have a Bible, get you one. You know, when I first came to Christ and didn't have a Bible, I went to thrift store. Got me one. <laughs> yeah. Amen. After that, I started buying my own. But it doesn't matter. We have some in the back. Help yourself. Amen. It says, Psalms 100 says this. So you know what? There's no excuse for you not having one. <laughs> if you go to learn the word, Amen. you gotta have a Bible, and you gotta open it up, and you gotta read just it. Hold on to it. And you know, don't, <laughs> don't say, "Well, you know, I just can't see myself learning this." Well, you know, we pick up other things Amen. and read other things, and we learn it very fast and real well. Yeah, we can do the same thing with the Word of God. Yes, we can. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. Amen. But the Psalms 100 says this: "It's just a song of praise and joy." Yes. The psalm of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. gladness. Yes. If you're not serving the Lord with gladness, mm -hmm. you need to go back. We've got to renew our minds yes. what the Word of God says. That's it. Amen. So we can get away from that. Mm -hmm. Come before His presence with singing. singing. You know, yes. we approach God many times just dumping all kinds of stuff on Him. Oh, yeah. Amen. And then we'll walk away. He ain't even finished with us yet. But we just <laughs> walked out. <laughs> Here, yeah. You know, hey, take care of it. You know, everything instant this year. Or oh this, uh, this uh, in, in the world, is everything instant. Mm -hmm. It's quick now. Yeah. Know ye that the Lord is God is he that made us and we and uh, not we ourselves. That's it. We are his people. Mm -hmm. Are you his people? Yes. Only you can, only you know that. Yes. If you haven't made him Lord of your life, the Lord, and then it's time for you to confess him as right. your, your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank he you. says, Know ye the Lord that it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We're his people. Yeah. And the sheep of his pasture. Amen. We're his sheep. That means he's our he's our pastor. He's our shepherd. He's our shepherd. <laughs> Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be Amen. thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is Amen. good. good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Amen. So, amen. His word is the truth, and His word will the truth will set you free. Let's remember that. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So let me see what I got. Giving thanks in Psalms 100 is about listen. <laughs> it's about excitement. It's about joy. It's about shouting. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Thank you, Lord, for this new year. Thank you for another birthday. Yes. Serving with glad, serving gladly, coming before Him with singing. Know that the Lord uh, is is with you. Amen. A closer walk with Him. Enter into His gate with yes. thanksgiving and Thank praise you. His name. Amen. Sacrifice meaning giving of yourself to yes. Him, Thank just you. like Jesus. He was sacrificed. He knew he was going to be sacrificed, mm -hmm. but He came anyway. So you give yourself to Him Amen. and say, Lord. You gave your best. You gave Jesus. Jesus, you gave yourself. Now I'm going to give myself back to you. Amen. So, also Psalm 100 is full of action words. We got some actions to do. So you like action? <laughs> Here's some actions. Amen. It says, Psalm 100 is about shout. <laughs> some of us can't shout in this weird uh, bar or a football game or shouting at somebody else. Come I know I've heard some of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you come to church and <laughs> we, we try to hide. Don't yeah. don't even say that word. Thank you, Lord. Serve. Action word. Serve. Mm -hmm. You know you <laughs> we're to, we're to be participators. Yes. And get involved and do something. Thank Not yeah. just sit back and spectate, mm. but All participate. Right, yeah. Amen. Yes. We're to come. You know, come is an action word. Mm -hmm. Yes, it Means, is. I got I got I got to put some faith in all the steps I take. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you get in this word, you fill yourself with faith. 
So mm -hmm. wherever you go, he says, I walk by faith and not by sight. And if mm -hmm. you're not full of faith, you're full of fear. And I don't walk by fear, I walk by faith. Amen. Yes. So we can do the same thing. Yes. Come, know. I can know. If I know his word, then I know what his word says. So that means I'm going to do what he's called me to do. I'm going to do yeah. the right thing. And enter. Mm -hmm. We're going to enter into his presence each and every time. And give. Give of ourselves. You yes. know, we always know how to take. Oh, come on now. We always know how to take. But we don't know how to give of ourselves. <laughs> Amen. There's a lot of things you can give, you know, before you think about it. First thing you think of when you give is finances, money. Well, I don't have any to give. No, but you got yourself to give. Yes. Lord, I give myself back to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm going to give this service back to you. Amen. I want to serve you. Yes. Give and bless. All of these words are calling us to do something. Mm -hmm. Be thankful is action, is a word of action. Giving thanks is involvement. Getting involved, do something. Yeah. Participate. You know, the world always has you isolated. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't do this, you can't do mm -hmm. that. You're not qualified. You're not part of us. Hmm. You know, so we just All right, yeah. the world pushes you away. People pushes you away. Yeah. I'm talking about families do this to you. All right. But we need to know. We got. We got. We got. We we got to be involved yeah. in in your calling. Whatever God has called you to do, be involved in your church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God calls us to be actively involved in giving to Him. Uh -huh. Give thanks each and every day. Not just once in a while, not just once a, once a month or once a year, but daily. Not just when all things are going right. But you know what? When, when things start happening good to me, then I'm going to start giving thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? <laughs> if you're not serving Him, things may not get right. That's it. Amen. You see, I want to say this right. <laughs> As long as you're in sin, oh, everything's going to go smooth. Oh. Because the enemy ain't going to fight you. No. You try to get out of sin, mm. he's going to fight you like yes. hell. Okay? It. And it ain't going to be easy. No, it's not. But you know, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. 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 And we serve a risen Savior. Yes, we do. Amen. And so I want to be on his side. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to get on the winning side, you got to break away from all amen. that stuff amen and you can because the word says you, you can you amen can. so it. praise god amen not just when i feel like it every day is the right time of giving yeah. thanks yes, i mean we is. can't say that enough that's it giving thanks is about joyful joyfulness excitement enthusiasm mm -hmm. psalms 100 says Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So this is where we're going to start here. We already read the uh, the Psalms. Give thanks because the Lord has forgiven all our sins. Yes. You know, and sometimes when you confess your sins unto Him, mm -hmm. you feel the enemy is going to come and he's going to tell you, um, He didn't forgive you. Hmm. And you're going to meditate on that, and pretty mm -hmm. soon you feel like, I'm not forgiven. Yeah, yeah. But you say, wait a minute. The Word of God says, mm -hmm. if, he conf if you confess your sins, mm -hmm. He is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Not only is He going to forgive you, He's going to forget about it. Mm -hmm. So how come you're still remembering? Mm -hmm. I say, wait. I say, put it away. Mm -hmm. Just put it on delete and let it go. Says, if, God, if Jesus forgave me, I don't need to be thinking about that anymore. That's it. Amen. That's it. Just let it go. That's it. Amen. But, you know, people, and Satan uses people too. Yeah. And they're going to come oh, and they're going to yeah. remind you what you did. Oh, my God. And they're going to remind you of your sin. Yeah. But you have to put it behind you. Yes, you do. Amen. You want to put it behind you. Heals all diseases, mm. sickness, illnesses, uh, COVID. <laughs> mm. Lepers came to Jesus. And they said, Jesus, want Jesus to heal. Mm-hmm. And Jesus told him, go show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. This sickness, leprosy, was a, a disease. All lepers have to be, live out of town. They couldn't come around people. Mm -mm. Very contagious. But Jesus came came by Jesus. And says, go show yourself to the priest. And they obeyed him. But one of them says, wait a minute. 
-hmm. He's healed me. I got to go back and give thanks. Mm -hmm. And he came back and gave thanks to Jesus. Yes, it is. Amen. So let's not forget, he heals mm -hmm. all sicknesses. Yes. I don't care what the world invents, <laughs> what no, kind of sickness they come up with yeah, next year yeah, yeah. or the year after that. Right. Jesus, by his stripes, you are healed yeah. of whatever happens to me. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter. There's nothing new. He didn't forget. Oh, he, he don't have to go back and be crucified That's again right. That's and put right. more stripes on his back because he forgot that one. Mm -hmm. No. All is right. all. <laughs> right. Redeems us from destruction. Yes, he yes. saves us from the pit. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing to give a thanks. Yes. If you want to spend eternity in heaven, you give thanks. Thank you, Lord, that I'm going to spend time, a, an eternity in heaven with you mm -hmm. and not going to the pit. Mm -hmm. and that's a real good reason to give thanks. Yes. Gives us his loving kindness and mercy. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're to show his love and compassion when we go into the world and we mm -hmm. see people. Not just to feel sorry for them. Right. Sorry can't help. That's it. Amen. That's it. Love and compassion can help. Yeah. Lord, what is it you want me to do? Amen. Maybe just a kind word. Or maybe give whatever he tells you to give. Mm -hmm. Or share or say whatever he wants you to, to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But just feeling sorry, say, man, you know, too bad, you know. Hey, don't put them down while they're down. Yes. Give them a hand or raise them yes. up. You know. <laughs> He's blessed us abundantly. His word says uh, in John 10 10, says the enemy, the devil, He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, and Jesus destroy. says, I have come that you might have life yes. and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. He ain't yeah. going to put anything bad on you. That's it. He ain't got no bad things to give you. That's it. He ain't got no sickness to give you. Mm -mm. You know, you go around saying, well, Jesus put this sickness on me to no, show me a lesson mm -mm. or teach me something. Mm -mm. He no. didn't do that. No, he didn't. You know, yeah, what we do is we confess it with our mouth. So yeah. be careful of the words you confess. Yes. And life and death are in the power of the tongue. Right. So if you're speaking negative things, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you're speaking sickness, mm -hmm. you're opening the door for the enemy to come. Yes. That's it. So be careful of the words you right. put. Right. Amen. Right. So that's, that's how that's what moves the enemy. Mm -hmm. That's what moves God. The words mm -hmm. we speak. He says his word goes out and accomplishes. What he sends it out to do. Words are like seed. They're carriers. Yeah. They carry life or they carry death. Yes. Which ones are you releasing? Right, right. Because whatever you're releasing, you're going to grow. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, mm. so let's renew ourselves, renew our minds with the Word of God. So here we go. Reasons we should give thanks. <laughs> mm. First reason we should give thanks is, and you can change these up, but His presence in our lives. Mm-hmm. Amen. When I woke up, he woke me up. That means he's there for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in my life. People desert you. Friends leave you. All kinds of folks. But guess what? Mm -hmm. He's the closest thing. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 24, a man that has friends must show himself friendly. Yeah. And there's a friend that sticks closer yes. than a brother. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. John 15, 13 says this. Greater love hath no man mm -hmm. than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Right. This is what Jesus did for us. Yes, he did. Amen. The Lord is with us at all times and in all situations. Mm -hmm. The Lord is never, has never left us. But we have pulled away like the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. Act and leave him any way or any time, any opportunity we can. Mm -hmm. Just take off. Hey, things are smooth. Things are nice. Uh, I'll call you when I need to again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> Let me see if I can uh, get this thing to, to, to work right. Here we go. <laughs> Listen to this. I know you heard it many times, but you know what? Just receive what God has for you. Yeah. He's always with us. It's called Footprints. Mm -hmm. He says, one night a man had a dream. Mm -hmm. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord across the sky flashed scenes of his life. Mm. From each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints no. on the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. Mm -hmm. When the last scene of the life flashed before him, 
he looked back at the footprint in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his uh, life, there was only one set of footprints. Mm. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest time in his life. Mm. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. He says, Lord, you said that I decided to follow you. You walked with me all the way. Mm -hmm. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, mm -hmm. there is only one set of footprints. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why. When I needed you the most, mm -hmm. you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you and I will never leave you during your times of trial and suffering. When you see the one set of footprints, mm. it was then that I carried you. Mm. Let's remember that. He said, if he gave his word and he says he never leaves us nor forgave us, and uh, that's, that's our next scripture, Hebrews 5, uh, 13, mm -hmm. 5 says, he never leaves us, nor forsake us. He's given his word. Amen. We are the ones that walk away. Yes. Amen. And he shows us a good uh, story about the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. The prodigal son tells, tells the father, hey, I'm of age. Get mm -hmm. what's coming to me, and I'm out of here. I'm gone. And he goes yeah. into the world. He has a bad time. Mm -hmm. He sees himself bad. He says, you know, I can go back to father, mm -hmm. and I can have him better at father's house. Mm -hmm. And you know what Father did? Every day, he looked down the road, waiting for his son to come. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants you to do. Yes. He's waiting for you. Sacrifice his son mm -hmm. and waiting for you to come to him. Yes. It's time for some of us. Somebody needed this. Somebody, mm -hmm. you, you just got to say, Lord, <laughs> I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Come home. It's time to come yes. home. Amen. You're a step. You're a footstep away from yes. turning around and coming back to yes. Father. Amen. All you have to do is say, "I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior." Yes. That's what He's waiting for. Amen. For He Himself said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." Mm -hmm. Hebrews thirteen verse five and six says this. So we may boldly say, "The Lord is my helper. I will not fear." What can man do to me? Mm. <laughs> That's what uh, David said when he saw Goliath. We see giants out there and we're scared. We yeah, see uh, giant uh, giants out there. Mm -hmm. It says, man, we, them giants, they saw us. We're like grasshoppers next to those giants out there. We're nothing compared to whatever problems you're facing. Right. We're nothing compared to COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. He says, I will not fear. What can man do to me? What can sickness do to me? What can these things do to me? Right. My God is bigger. Yes. My God is bigger than any mountain. My God is bigger than any giant. Yes. My God is bigger than any disease yes. or anything that you're facing. We just got to know whose we are yes. and who we are yeah. in Him. Yeah. That's what David did. He knew. Mm -hmm. And he went to face a giant. You know, uh, I don't know if you ever read the story, but uh, King Saul was a big man. Mm -hmm. He was big himself. And he tried to put his armor on David. And mm -hmm. David was a small shepherd boy. And he tried to put, he put his uh, armor on. He says, no. He says, you know, I'm just going to use what God gave me. <laughs> just be the original God called you to be. Yes. Don't try to copy anybody. That's it. He doesn't want you to copy anybody. Mm -hmm. He qualified you when he called you. Mm -hmm. So don't be nobody else. Just be yourself. That's it. Amen. That's it. Thank you, Lord. And you think you're nobody? Well, listen to this. He called a king mm -hmm. from a shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. He was a shepherd boy. He yeah. told Jesse, he told Santa Prophet, he says, Go to Jesse's house because the next king of Israel is coming from Jesse, Jesse's family, his, oh his home. Mm -hmm. And Mel and Jesse had some grown, nice-looking, handsome boys, you know. <laughs> and Jesse sent all his boys in front of the man of God, and he says, "This one, this one, this one." No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. He says, "Man, do you have another one?" 
He says, oh yeah, but he's only a shepherd. He's taking care of the sheep. That's what people oh, think yeah. about you. Oh yeah, yeah it's only so and so. But he's on, he only does this. You know, he's he's no good. These these are my handsome boys. They're strong. They can do all things. Well, the prophet said, well, go go get him. And he brought the little shepherd boy, the little nobody, yeah. and oh, walked in front of the man of God. And 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 man, uh, God told him, "That's him. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> See yourself that way. Don't put yourself down. Lift yourself up because of who you are and who you serve. Yes. You know how would how could you tell that little shepherd boy would be the next king of Israel?" <laughs> But you don't know. Say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. This physical body has many parts, but it's one body. And every part is vital to this body surviving. Yes. And all these parts working together. Yes, we are. I don't care if you're a little toe or a little finger or wherever you happen to be. As long as you're serving this one body together in unity, we're going to do what God calls us to do. So as a body of Christ, we need to see ourselves that way. Right. Big or small, it doesn't matter. What is your part is important to you. Yes. Right? It's important to him. Yes, Say, God, I'm doing this under you. Uh -huh. And people are going to be upset. People are going to laugh at you. No, Say, no, that's no, no. all you do. That's all. <laughs> that's not good enough. But it's good enough for him. And when he's happy, I'm happy. Amen? So yeah. see yourself that way. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody needed that. <laughs> Amen. But I receive it. Amen? Amen. It says Second Timothy 1 and 7, uh, 1 7 says this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. That's it. So we don't have to go walk in fear anymore. It says, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. You know how you keep your, your, from your mind sound? You renew it with the word of God. Amen. He said, man, they lost their mind. Well, they need to renew their minds yes. with what the Word of God tells you, you know, so you won't go crazy just thinking about all these things you got to do, yeah. overwhelmed with all that you have to do. No. He says, give it to me. Cast it on me. I want it. Uh -huh. St. Corinthians 5, 7 says, we, for we yeah. believers walk by faith, not by sight. Study the word, get full of the word, yes. and you walk by faith and not fear it. Right. Amen. Amen. Remember, fear is false evidence appearing real. That's yes, it. Faith is walking, trusting in Him, yes. having faith in Him, yes. knowing that He's there. Yes. <laughs> he told He told Peter. Peter says, "I want to walk where you are." Uh -huh. Jesus walking on the water. <laughs> See, he says all he said was come uh -huh. that's good enough for me yes. he stepped, stepped out of the boat started walking on water pretty soon he says I, I can't do this uh. it's impossible it's not for me uh -huh. he disqualified himself uh -huh. he, he spoke himself into fear uh -huh. well, we, we, can't, we can't do that we got to walk by faith yes. whatever he's called you to do do it by faith yeah. and not by sight Amen. That's Psalms it. 23 says his presence is always with us Mm -hmm. Listen, he's our shepherd. Yes. A shepherd protects and guards his sheep. Yes. And he never leaves us. That's Hebrews 13, 5. Amen. So receive him as your shepherd. Amen. Psalms 91 says, safely of abiding in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Exodus 33 and 14 says, the Lord replied, my presence go with you and I will give you rest. Amen. You want some rest? Spend time with him. Yes. <laughs> He'll give you some rest. That's in it. Psalms, it tells you. Let's go there. <laughs> All right. I need, I need to find it myself. <laughs> no, excuse me. Uh, is it Psalms? That's no, Proverbs. Let me see. Let me find it now. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's go to Proverbs uh, 3. Proverbs 3. Chapter 3. Okay. Proverbs uh, 324. What's it saying? When thou liest down. It says, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yes, he yes. shall lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. 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 Amen. Man, I can't sleep. Mm. And man, I drink or I take mm. whatever and all these other things. I try. Mm. But I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. your word says 
that if I lie, when I lay down, you're going to give me some sweet sleep. That's what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. So he's, he's watching out for you. Yes, he is. <laughs> you didn't even know that was there, huh? Mm. <laughs> Carmen, thank you. It says, give thanks. Praise God from whom all blessings yeah. flow. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for blessing yes. me. Let me see what else you got. Sleep. Yeah. Give thanks. It is a good thing to give thanks oh, yes. unto the Lord. And to St. Francis unto thy name, unto O Most High. Amen. Psalms 92 and 1. You know, yes. Psalms is all about praising, you know? Yes, it it's is. It's good. Giving thanks and praising Him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a good thing. Yes. Now, we talked about this last week, last week but Paul and Silas mm -hmm. <laughs> in prison. <laughs> they gave thanks. Mm -hmm. Man, I know what you're thinking. Mm. They got beat. They got whooped. And they got put in jail. Yeah. And you think that, Lord, we're serving you, and look what happened to us. Mm -hmm. Instead of complaining and, and griping, they gave thanks to God. Yes, they did. God, man, he showed up. Yes, he did. Cell doors open. Uh, chains fell off. Yes. <laughs> and the prisoners, I mean, the jail keeper says, man, he, he's ready to kill himself. Uh -huh. He said, well, you don't kill yourself. They all said, they don't kill yourself. We're all here. Yeah. <laughs> We're all here. <laughs> he got saved. His family got saved. And yes. they, they spent some time with him yeah. at, at his house. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, this is good. Yeah. Give thanks. Why? Because he protects you. Yes. He protects our lives. Mm -hmm. There are many dangers in this world, and yet God is protecting us. Remember, yes. he's God on the mountain. That's and he's it. God in the valley. Mm -hmm. And he, he's God. He says the word says he doesn't change. That's it. If anything changes, we we, we change. change. That's it. Yeah. Things are going good, mm. smooth, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. God is not. The God protects. Protection has kept us alive so far. Yes. We can all testify to this. Some of the things we've gone through. Um, <laughs> let me see. I, that I know of, I almost got killed several times. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't my time yet. That's it. Amen. God kept me through. I had a mm -hmm. bad car wreck, or yeah, a roller truck over. And uh, a place, I mean, the thing was destroyed. The truck was destroyed. But God had other plans for me. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't my time. And thank God we're still here. Amen. And some of the things you've gone through. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're still here. You know. So thank God that you're still here. Many things to be real, uh, uh, thankful for. He is the reason we got this far. Yes. The Lord watches over us. Mm -hmm. And protects us. You know when you get a chance. Psalms 23. Psalms 91. Yes. You pray, just pray those Amen. all the time. Amen. Mm -hmm. thank, he's watching for you. Yes. Remember the dangerous situations we faced in the past and how God protected us. Be grateful and be thankful. Yes. yes. It's in the past. Remember, don't be a prisoner of your past. That's right. It's good to have good memories, mm -hmm. but don't be a prisoner of your past. That's and don't let nobody hold your past, hold you down as, as a prisoner of the past. No. You can remember things, memories, but it's time to press on. As a good soldier of God, Always, we're to press on yeah. and not go back. That's it. Amen. So praise God. Proverbs three and twenty six says in the uh, easy to read version, "You can trust God to protect us. He will not let you fall into harm." Amen. You know, we're always <laughs> a lot of times we try to get away from the umbrella of protection. Uh huh. <laughs> and that's when you're in the enemy's territory. <laughs> And you got to be careful. And we yes. can't we can't just have one foot on the enemy side and one foot on God's side. That's and it. we can't hold hands with the devil no. and hold hands with God. That's he says, <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'd rather you be hot or cold. Right. He says, don't be lukewarm. That's it. You know, he wants you full time, not just part time. That's it. You know, you know, even as part time, we're no no match to the enemy. That's it. So part time is not a good thing, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants you full time. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Praise Psalms God. Psalms one twenty one and three. Excuse me, one twenty one 
three uh, chapter verses three through eight. Let me read it to you from the easier read version. It says this: He will not let you fall. Mm. Your protector will not fall asleep. Mm. Israel's protector does not get tired. He never sleeps. Yes. The Lord is your protector. Yes. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. Yes. Says the sun cannot harm you during the day, and the moon cannot harm you at night. Mm -hmm. Says the Lord will protect you from every danger. Amen. He will protect your soul. And verse eight says the Lord will protect you as you come at, come and go, yes. both now and forever. In the yeah. New King James, verse 8 says this, says the Lord shall preserve you, your going out mm -hmm. and your coming in, coming from in. the time forth and the time and, yes. and, and evermore. Thank you, Lord. So he's watching over you. He's protecting you. Let's remember this. Let's not forget this. You know, one thing you do is when you come, say, God, you're going to speak to me, and I'm going to keep, and I'm going to retain what you've spoken to me. And I'm going to be a hearer and doer of your word. That's it. Amen. That's it. And I'm going to be an overcomer because yes. he has overcome. He said, you can do the same thing. Yes. Amen. What else you got? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Here we go. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We, I, you can personalize that I, or you can just say Jose, mm -hmm. will rejoice and be glad in you. Mm -hmm. Psalms 118.24. Yes. But you don't know what's facing me. You don't know what I'm facing. Mm -hmm. You don't know the giants that's coming against me. Mm -hmm. You don't know the problems coming I'm facing or mm -hmm. coming, you know, there for me. It doesn't matter. This is what he says. Yes. Lord, I'm saying on your word and you know mm -hmm. what's out there. So I'm just going to trust you. Yes. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Praise God. God, thank God for his uh, providing in your life. The Lord is, is faithful to meet all your needs. Yes. Psalm yes. Four, uh, Philippians 4.19 says, that he supplies all. some of your needs. All. No, it says he provides all your mm -hmm. needs. Amen. Not all your wants. <laughs> he says he provides all your needs. Mm -hmm. Amen. It goes like this. He says, Philippians 4, 19. My God, he's yes. my God. Is yes. he your God? Mm -hmm. Let him be your God because yes. he wants to provide for you. Yes, and he, he wants to be your Savior. Thank but you. you have to receive him. My God says, my God shall supply all your needs according mm -hmm. to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. He provides all our needs. That's he it. provides us with so many blessings. Yes, trust, yes. In he, trust in the Lord and fear not. For the Lord will supply every need, mm -hmm. even in difficult times. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. That's <laughs> good. Amen. Amen. So he's providing for us. Here's another thing that we don't, that we don't, uh, That we don't well, we don't we don't think of. But turn to uh, Philippians uh, chapter four. Mm -hmm. Philippians chapter four. Mm -hmm. He provides for you. What? Yes, he's going to mm -hmm. provide for you. And we just uh, oversee this all the time. Mm. <laughs> uh, Philippians four chapter. I mean verses six and seven. Mm. I'm reading out of King James says this. Be careful for nothing. nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let your request yes. be made known to God. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. And this is, verse 8 says, finally, my brethren, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, and whatsoever things are lovely, whatever, whatsoever things are of good report. Think, mm -hmm. he says, if there be any virtue, mm -hmm. and if there be any praise, praise think on these things. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. He's, he's providing all these things yes, for us. Yes. Amen. But we need to know the truth. Yeah. Because it's the truth that's going to set us free. Yes, it's the truth that's going to keep us straight. Yes. Amen. There's so many distractions, so many yes. voices yes. pulling on you. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you know the truth, 
It's going yes. to keep you strong. Yes, That's not what the word of God. Brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, I heard somebody say mm -hmm. this. Mm. Main thing you want to know is, is it in the word? Right. Yeah. Is it, is it scriptural? Yeah. Okay. Is it in the word of God? Mm -hmm. Can you give me scripture for it? Mm -hmm. Well, no, you know, hey, brother so-and-so, he knows it all. <laughs> Sister so and so, they know it all, you know. Nobody knows. Is that right? Well, if you know it all, give me some scripture for it. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the shelf. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to receive it. it. I'm not taking it right. for truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go by what the truth says, by what yeah. the word of God says. Yeah. And too many, too many times we just follow people or follow things. Mm -hmm. There's no truth to it. Mm -hmm. And too many people follow the wrong, the wrong, yes, yes. and end up in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. So we need, we need to be careful. We need to be accountable to these things. Yes, man. Okay. Right. So let's remember that Psalms thirty-four eight through ten says, "Taste and see that the Lord is good." Good. Amen. Blessing, blessed is the one who takes mm -hmm. refuge in Him. Yes. Fear the Lord, you His holy people, mm -hmm. for those who fear Him lack. Nothing. That's it. Amen. Verse 10 says, Lions may grow weak and hungry, mm -hmm. but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Amen. Amen. Praise he God. takes care of you. Remember uh, Daniel? Mm -hmm. He got thrown in the uh, lion's den. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you that lions were hungry. <laughs> 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 and you know, when yeah, King came back home. running the next day, he knew all he was going to find nothing really. Mm -hmm. Maybe some clothes. <laughs> but Daniel, you say, hey, I'm here. Don't worry. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's okay. Mm -hmm. God shut those mouths mm -hmm. of those lions. Amen. Or you fed them yes. spiritually. Some, some, <laughs> whatever he did, God did it. Yes, that's it. But that was a man of God and he protected him. But you know, here's the thing is, if he did it for them, he'll do yeah, it for you. That's good. All these Bible heroes we talk about in the Bible, they had, they had sin. Mm. But God still used them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's time you repent, get on God's side, and let him, let him use you. Yes. Amen. amen. You're not here just to pass time. <laughs> you know, you're not here just to, mm -hmm. well, you know, hey, just passing through. Mm -hmm. No. Bible says this place is not our home. Heaven is our home. Yes. We're just passing through here. Amen. Amen. But you have to prepare yourselves. You have to walk the walk, talk the talk, mm. do the studying, and do whatever it is God has called you to do. Yes, yes. And make yourself available unto Him. Yes. So we're just going to stop there. and We just want to thank you, Lord, for your precious word. Yes. Amen. Thank you that we can do all things through you. All things. And we want to thank you for being in our lives, for bringing yes. us this far. In Jesus' precious name, if you have never asked Jesus, and we, won't, we don't want to close until you do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is a good time. Yeah. If you're just tuning in, right. it is a good time. You know, you didn't tune in by accident. That's it. Amen. If you never asked Jesus, you Lord and Savior, now's the time to make a change in yes. your life. Thank you, Lord. And just say, I've yeah. sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. <laughs> and you know what? He's going to guide you from there on. And you're going to grab you, buy your Bible, get a Bible, mm -hmm. and start reading it. And do what it tells you to do. Amen. Hook up with the church of God that is, is teaching the word of God. Amen. And you're going to grow. And you're going yes, to do things for him. And he wants to use you. Yes. And you know what? Here's the thing. He's got great plans for you. Yes, yes. Amen. He's got great plans for you. He's not forgotten about you. We've forgotten about him. Mm -hmm. But it's time to come home. Amen. Yes. So praise God. If there's sickness in your body, just touch yourself. The Bible says... Lay hands on the sick and it shall recover. Yes. Thank you, Father, that by Jesus Christ, we are healed yes. from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, Father. Amen. And we just rebuke that spirit of infirmity and we command it to go in Jesus' yes. precious name. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I, I'm happy. <laughs> I receive. You know, that's what you got to do. I receive. You know, you ain't receiving from Brother Joe or Pastor Joe. <laughs> you receiving from the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Receive the word of God in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let it bless you. Mm -hmm. So time to give. Those who are watching or listening would like to Thank give you, you tithe uh, or, or offerings. Uh, just uh, tune in to uh, go to our website, nbcbigben.com. 
and uh, press that donate button there. If, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, we just wanted to say, God loves you and we love you. And it's never too late. Now's the time. Today is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. Amen. Praise God. Amen.